Hey there! In this tutorial, we're gonna jumpstart your magazine making journey by showing you the basics of preparing and creating a magazine layout with Quark Express. Let's dive right into it. First off, start a new project. Set the layout type as print and change the size to A4. Since we're making this magazine on the fly, I'm gonna keep the page count to one and add more pages as we go. If you already have an idea of how many pages you'll need, feel free to add them here. Now, here we are with our blank canvas. We're gonna start off with setting up our master page layout and style sheets. Master pages are essentially templates that define the layout for all of our pages. Whereas style sheets are the templates for our design elements such as text. Using both of these together is crucial so that we can keep our design consistent throughout our magazine. First, we're gonna set up the master page layout. So to begin our setup, we wanna set up some guide attributes. Guide attributes are essentially ruler lines you can place on your document to help you position elements precisely. They don't appear in the final output, but act as visual references while you're designing your layout. Go to Window, then Guides, then click on the plus icon. Add the location as 10 millimeters in a horizontal direction. Then click on Spread and Locked. Go to the plus icon again. Set location as 7 millimeters. Now this time we are gonna click Vertical, Page and Locked. Then press Add. Then, with the same settings, add in 105 millimeters, 203 millimeters, 217 millimeters, 315 millimeters, and 413 millimeters. Click OK. And now you can see it's added all of our guides here. Now it's time to set up the style sheets. Go to Edit, then Style Sheets. Click New Paragraph. Name this style sheet as Master Page Title. Then, when you click Edit, you can see all of these options to customize your style sheets. For this example, I'm gonna use the font Halyard Display Medium in size nine. Then we're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna go into the Format tab and change up my text to be center aligned with no hyphenation. Then click OK and save. So now we're going to combine our style sheet setting with the master page by adding in our running header to the top here. Simply add a new text box, then type in what you would like to go in the running header and reposition the text box to your liking. I'm also going to add in the page number on each page. Since this is on the master page, the page number will automatically be adjusted. Now, we're going to add in the colors we want to use for the magazine. Go to Edit, then Colors. Here, you can fully select the color palette you want. Make sure you're using CMYK for your colors. If you're stumped on what colors to choose, Consider the theme and target audience for your magazine. You can always have a play around and test out various color schemes. Next up, we're going to head back into the Style Sheets tab and set up our Body Text Style Sheet. For this, I'm going to set the font as Thonbury with the size as 9.5. Then, in the Formats tab, I'm going to change the first line to 8 millimeters, leading to 14 point and no hyphenation. So now I'm just going to rinse and repeat this process with the rest of my elements. For the italic paragraph, I selected Helvetica New Light, size 9 with no hyphenation. Next under the paragraph setting, I have chosen the font Avenir Next in size 14 and using one of the colors we set up earlier with no hyphenation. Then I created other style sheets for semi-bold, signature, subtitle, and title. Next up, we're going to create style sheets for the table of contents. A table of contents is essentially a blueprint or map that guides readers through your magazine. It's a list of all the articles, features, and sections included in the issue, along with their corresponding page numbers. For the table of contents, I chose the font at Helvetica New, size 24. Then, change the format to space after 3 millimeters. Under Rules, go to Rule below for the style, I picked all dots with the width as 0.75. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the settings for our page numbers. Next step into our prep is to create a new image library. The image library is a really useful feature that helps to keep all of the images we want to use in one easy to access place. First, you're gonna wanna go to the stock image library, then click on the plus sign. Then from here, click on create a new library. Here I have selected the folder of images from my documents, but you can use images from the stock image library if you like. Make sure you give your image library a name so that you don't lose track of it. Now, they have been added directly into Quark Express. 
So now all of the prep is done, this is gonna streamline our workflow majorly by doing all of the tiny repetitive stuff for us. Now it's time to really sink our teeth into designing our magazine. If you haven't already, add in the number of pages by right-clicking on Master Page A and clicking Insert Pages, then from here, insert the number of pages you would like, then click OK. So, starting from the front cover, I'm going to utilize picture and text boxes as building blocks, placing and finessing them to my liking. To make things easier on yourself, I highly recommend making a rough layout plan for your magazine, so that you can better visualize what the final product will look like. From here, it's all about putting your creativity on the canvas. Designing a magazine requires careful attention to detail. It's about choosing the right fonts, images, and layout to create a visually appealing and easy-to-read publication that will really resonate with your readers. Think of it as crafting a well-balanced meal. Every element should work together to create a satisfying experience for your readers. Check out our completed layout. And there you have it. By using what we've learned in this video, you can continue to apply these tips and tricks to really elevate your next magazine masterpiece. If you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to get notified about more Quark Express tutorials. Thanks for watching.